Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this new 2019 Forest River Riverstone 38RE. Take a few minutes walk you around the inside of the coach and then we'll go to the outside for a quick look. This unit is a mid kitchen unit. We've got the island kitchen area here, U-shape island kitchen. This unit has the 20 cubic foot refrigerator, basically freezer on bottom, refrigerator on top. It was ordered with the convection microwave and the induction stovetop. When you do the induction, uh, induction stovetop there, it's nice and flush. They offer a gas stovetop and they also offer a gas oven if you wanted. You'll lose a couple cabinets there, but you do get the uh, oven there. The dishwasher was another feature that was ordered on this coach. If you don't want the dishwasher, you can just get a cabinet there. A lot of cabinet space and drawer space throughout this coach. A lot of counter space also. Nice solid surface countertop. Does have the undermount stainless sink. The right side is larger than the left side. High rise pull out sprayer faucet. Nice dinette area. There's two chairs, standard RV chairs basically. They raise up for storage inside of them. The table does have a leaf extension so it will open up. And there's two folding chairs that are available also. There's USB charger ports on the left side of the dinette area there. And then you have an, another electric outlet on the right side. Nice big windows to overlook your camp area there. This is also the darker wood. This is the mocha wood. They have a lighter wood called Danville as an option. There's two floor colors to also choose from. Two wood colors to choose from and two furniture colors. There's four exterior paint job colors that you can choose from. So they do a little more customization than some brands on the market. Oh, there's also a little wine cooler down there. A drawer that pulls out. And these drawers are also the full extending ball bearing drawer guides. And they are the soft closed drawers, so they close themselves once they get so close. And same thing on the cabinets. The uh, cabinet doors actually are the soft closed cabinet doors too that close themselves. Now, this is the lighter furniture color. They do offer a darker furniture which is kind of a dark chocolate brown color. So a couple different colors there. The fireplace, electric fireplace, Bose sound bar, Jensen DVD stereo Bluetooth system, Sony smart TV. More drawers up here. This is pretty nice. Got all, all kinds of remote controls here. Little cabinets on the side swing open now. Some of the older models slid on uh, little drawer guides. And they do have a light up in there too. A lot of LED accent lighting. Around the toe kicks and up above the slides. Both of the sofas and the slides do actually open up into beds, so you could sleep four people up here if you really needed to. The two sofas facing the uh, TV here are recliners. They are power recliners, so you can push a button for them to go in and out. And this little cup holder thing actually comes out if you want it to, so you can have a little more room if you need it. It's basically just a little uh, shark wing extension here. This unit was ordered with three air conditioners on it with the energy management system. They are the Whisper Quiet air conditioners, so you can see the returns on the sides, not the big square in the middle. So these are much quieter when you're sitting in here trying to watch TV. Nice grab handle. It's a metal grab handle coming up and down the steps there. Some of the lights are also on dimmer switches. 
So that's a pretty nice feature to be able to dim down the lights or brighten them up when you want to. My name's Ray. If you have any questions about the campers or would like to purchase one, please feel free to give me a call. Toll-free number is 888-417-8299. My direct extension is 203. I have done some previous videos that you'll see on some 18 models that are a little more in-depth than this one. So if you want a little more detail on some of the features, you might check out those videos also. This is a pretty nice feature here. This opens up with your trash cans in it, so they're kind of hidden and out of the way. There's the electric box down there with your breakers and fuses, little coat closet here. And then there's some of your controls here. A lot of it now is done off of these LED monitors. And basically you got your slide controls, monitor panel, lighting. I can turn off a boatload of the lights just right here. Uh, awning in and out, auto level system, all that stuff. My RV, which basically kind of tells you uh, some like built-in videos and things to help troubleshoot some stuff. Uh, the controls for the water heater. A couple of the other uh, rear slide out buttons. Energy management system, inverter system, all that stuff right there. There's a couple drawers built into the step. That's kind of a nice feature. There are some little lights down here for nighttime. There's a little switch on the wall to kind of light up your steps. Another nice metal handle there. Your uh, TV antenna handle and your smoke detector up there. The controls for all three air conditioner right here. So they have the the uh, triple zone climate control thermostat here and you can set each air conditioner to do different things also controls the furnace there too the bathroom most people really really love this has the dual vanity six drawers two cabinets two medicine cabinets backlit mirror air conditioning and heat both in the bathroom area Nice upgraded uh, elongated porcelain bowl toilet with the foot flush. There's a little uh, laundry holder here. And the one piece fiberglass shower has the built in seat. It's got a nicer shower head, nice big skylight up above. There's also one of the fantastic fans with the rain sensors in here. Some little uh, robe or coat hook type, type things there. Toilet paper holder, um, you know, hand towel holders, your bath towel holder, all that kind of built into. But a nice large bathroom. Plenty of room to walk in here, take a shower, get dressed, not have to kick people out of the bathroom. And then the door is actually on a little slider here. So it's not something that you have to worry about walking out and half asleep at night and swing it open and trip and fall down the stairs or anything. So you just slide the door back and forth. Really nice, thoughtful feature there. The cabinetry in the camper is also real wood. So a lot of the campers, this type of wood is actually just a veneer paper wrap. This is actually a stained hardwood. Uh, so it's a much nicer real wood system compared to some of the other brands on the market. Uh, another really nice feature, this is a wide body, so the camper is six inches wider than many of the brands on the market, and also thicker sidewalls. One of the big advantages to a Riverstone is their three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls with R16 wall insulation. Most RVs are only a two inch wall or less and have an R11 or less sidewall, many or less. Um, so really nice feature on the construction. It's not a glued together laminated coach. It is a hung fiberglass um, Optional king bed here uh, or I'm sorry standard king bed option for a queen if you wanted to do a queen Nightstands on both sides little cabinets USB chargers on both sides Windows that open on both sides of the bed really nice headboard system 
Over there, you can see the controls for the solar panels. Um, that basically kind of helps tell you some of the information about what's going on with them and what are your battery condition is. Right now, I'm on battery power. I have all the lights inside and outside turned on, and it's telling me over there it's, I'm at 12.2 volts, and you know that thing has been trying to charge that battery up all day. So nice feature there. Uh, you can get it just prepped if you don't want to do the panels right away. You can get it just prepped for that. Nice flat screen TV here. Uh, electric fireplace here is standard. You can order it with the bedroom wall heater. If you do that, it goes in that cabinet there on the left of the window. There's a little bedroom wall heater that goes there. And instead of the fireplace, you get some extra cabinetry here. So if you want more storage, do the bedroom wall heater and no fireplace. That is an available option. There's also a little storage underneath of that seat there, too. Now, this unit does have the washer dryer in it. And this is a really nice feature. You got a stackable washer dryer system here. A little cabinet there. Or bedroom wall heater if you want that option. Nice shelving back in here. I'm going to slide this open onto the other side here so you can see this a little better. You've got quite a bit of storage space in here. There's a lower bar for hanging clothes, and then there's a higher bar up top for hanging clothes. Cedar line closet and your Dyson rechargeable vacuum system over there. Plenty of room to walk around both sides of the bed. And the bed again does raise up and there's some storage underneath of there. And another nice feature, it's got the nicer bed mattress, but it also has an upgraded bed frame. So it's not just a piece of plywood sitting on on the or mattress is not just sitting on a piece of plywood. So nice feature there too. Sliding bedroom door. The unit also has the upgraded day and night roller blinds. So you have a day shade which is basically kind of like a heavy screen, and then you have the solid shade for nighttime. Even the nice valances here are hardwood stained with a nice glass insert there. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation. Be sure to check out some more of my videos. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you got any questions, give me a call. If you're interested in purchasing one, I'll definitely be glad to help you. Toll free number 888-417-8299, my direct extension 203, or you can visit us at couchesrvnation.com, again one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Thanks for checking out our videos. A few minutes walk around the outside and inside of this coach. This unit was just special ordered by a customer a couple months ago and finally came in. Uh, this unit has the dusk paint job on it. It has six slides, rear living room, front bedroom, center kitchen bath area. They ordered this unit with the optional slide out awning covers to cover the tops of the slide outs. They also have the metal protective wrap so when the slide outs are in it does better protect them was ordered with the upgraded trail air hitch pin box on the front. Has LED running lights up top, down the sides. Also has midship turn signals down the sides too. So that's a really nice feature so people beside you can actually see that you're trying to get over. You have a very large storage compartment here on the front section. The 
front baggage door there does have shocks on it to hold it up. Upgraded slam lock baggage doors. Two 40 pound propane tanks. There's also a propane uh, hookup down there for like a gas grill. Six point auto level jack system. Really nice heavy duty system. You have the upgraded more ride steps going in and out of the coach, much stronger. That is an option. You can still get the old steps if you prefer those. Two outdoor speakers there. Nice frameless dual glass window. So really nice dual pane window system. Huge compartment here. Nicely finished off. Rubber mat floor. Electric outlet up there. Nice finished off area up here. The screen door is wider, 32 inch wide entry door. Um, has a like little storm window type of uh, material on it. So you got a screen in the screen door, but you also have a plastic material there. So that's removable. So you can actually leave the door open on a nice day without losing your air conditioning. The main awning is also protected in the metal wrap. Another nice feature on the paint job, you can see the paint actually goes up over the roof edging. Uh, so the, some of the brands out there on the market paint the sidewall, but then that is just white rubber down the sides. So nice upgrade there. Behind this little compartment here is a outside TV feature. And this is an option. You don't have to get it if you don't want it. But it does have a 39-inch TV here and a little sound bar there. Slam lock baggage doors. Spare tire mounted under the bottom down there. A lot of storage on the rear part of the coach. You can see both the doors here. I opened up this one side though. So you do have lights in here. The nice rubber floor again, nicely finished off. And these lights are also motion lights. You can turn them on and leave them on like I did that one, or you can make them motion sensor. That's a pretty cool feature. Going around to the back side here. You have a little inch and a quarter bike rack receiver, bike rack receiver hitch there. Ladder going up the back the uh, observation camera up there the tail lights are really nice you've got backup lights LED lights also but you also have uh, basically a little backup light in here a lot of brands don't have backup lights on them Power cord is right there in that compartment. That is a powered power cord reel. So you push a button for it to roll up when you're done using it. Be sure to check out Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're looking for one. Waste management system built in right here, so your hose and everything is in that compartment, comes with the coach. There you do have one of the uh, drains right there. Again, midship turn signals and LED clearance lights. On-demand water heater. This is the Truma AquaGo. Uh, it is actually a larger BTU than the ones they were previously using so more BTUs hotter water quicker nice docking area gray black handles galley handle in here battery disconnect uh, cable and satellite hookups all your winterizing valves black tank flush outside utility shower inverter for the refrigerator everything right there The Riverstone Legacy comes standard with hydraulic disc brakes, and that is where the reservoir for your disc brakes and your slide outs is. There's also some controls up here, and uh, that works the front jacks. Battery compartment over here. Now, there's room for four batteries. 
This uh, customer ordered it with the solar panels already on the roof. Uh, so the factory actually installed one battery there and uh, you can put more in if you want to. Stickers here on the side kind of give you some basic information on the RV. Two 8,000 pound axles. Gross vehicle weight is 19,030 pounds when you count the tongue weight in there. Uh, production date on this camper, 7-11 of 2018. Tire size or Goodyear tires, and they are ST215-75 R17.5H rated tires. So those are 17 and a half inch tires.